It is Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. Your boy Reese right here. I, I want to say your name like this. All right. So, Weedy is in a building. What's happening, what's mama? That? What's happening? <laughs> All right. I was killing your name before. I was like, who is so why do you hear this? Sweetie? Oh, my God. She was one of them. Yeah, I was one of them murdering your name. Mm -hmm. But you've been killing the game. She can actually spit. I'm going to try to get her in this uh, bars and cars one day. I'll be making rappers that can rap, uh -huh. rap in the car. I'll and set we take that up it. next time. You got to set cute. that up. Because you can actually spit, though. Thank you. That's that's appreciative to a person that grew up on like Pac and Biggie. Thank you. <laughs> well, I grew up on them too. So, so that, okay. that we'll see. Now we know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But you got a new single. My type. Now, what is we know your type? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know my type now. We know your type now. Uh -huh. But uh, how did you come up with this with this song? Um, so it was the last song that I added to the EP. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm from the Bay, so right. we like. You know, real ratchet music that actually slap. You still spitting. So mm -hmm. I wanted something that was gonna feel like a D Lo, like mm -hmm. a Young Kurt, like a you know, mm -hmm. like a Mr. Fab or like mm -hmm. the Pack. Mm -hmm. These are all like you know Bay Area, you know, <laughs> right? Just like legends. And I just wanted to bring back that feel, which is where my type came back. I got you. Now, you. A lot of Bay artists they can blow up in the Bay and don't really have to leave home to be mm -hmm. super relevant, have a long career. You talking about like E Forty? You know what I'm saying? People like that, like like short, like people mm -hmm. like that. So you to be expanding your reach all around in the South is mm -hmm. a little bit different than your typical Bay artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. how is that for you? Um, well, I like that, you know, I'm representing my city and mm -hmm. I'm able to go past those boundaries. Mm -hmm. But um, I just think, especially with social media, mm -hmm. we're able to just touch, you especially know, so many people. people we ain't, you know, going to see, you know, every day in the street. Right. So. I think I have to give a lot of credit, not only to me going viral, but just, you know, me able to make fans online. Got you. Mm -hmm. Got you. Got you. And I can appreciate that you really promote the music mm -hmm. and the stuff that you tie to. You're not just on here selling uh, tummy tea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can appreciate that. <laughs> I feel you, bro. So what, what is your motivation now? Because, like, is it? I see you traveling a lot. You meet mm -hmm. so many different people. I, I know. What, what's an artist? We're going to get to the motivation. What's an artist that, like, surprised you to say, I want to work with you? Um, Lil John. Yeah, Ay! I seen that picture because y'all look little, IG. Oh I ain't going to lie. Gosh. He was like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Um, I'm so excited for this record. Um, yeah. But the fact that, you know, somebody, you know, that I grew up listening to was like, hey, I got a record for you just meant everything to wow. me. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's that's when stuff starts coming full circle. Definitely. Yeah. I know sometimes it get frustrating as an artist mm -hmm. to where there's got talent to like, man, when is this thing gonna take off? Mm -hmm. But it, it's all, all in due time. But when I saw that picture, I was like, Oh, they finna be cooking. Yeah. Cause I remember we he had and I'm not comparing you to other artists, I'm just saying he's mm -hmm. he's good with working with females. I remember right. we had China White, he had her mm -hmm. sounding amazing. Mm -hmm. He's working with these different females. I was like, they sound really good. So right. when I seen y'all in that picture, I was like, oh, this mm -hmm. might be a little dang. I'm excited for that. That's what's up. That's what's mm -hmm. up. Well, we're going to need a preview of that once, once you get that thing you know, done. I'm going to need a little song song. <laughs> That's what's up. We kicking it right out, sweetie. And we are talking about her music, her single. What else do you have coming up, though? Um, So I'll be touring um this summer mm -hmm. um, in America and overseas, which I'm excited about. I'm going to the Wireless Festival. Oh, okay. And I know that's hella big. I never been to it. So it's crazy because like I didn't start going to festivals until I started doing music. Yeah. I never went to Coachella. Yeah. I never did none of that. But now you're performing at them. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Right? <laughs> so it's just like I kind of missed out on that experience because I can't go out into the crowd or else. You oh, no. Nah. You go. Nah. Yeah, it gets crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I have that. I got my icy chains mm -hmm. that have been selling like crazy. My icy right. lip gloss. There you go. Um, I can't do the lip gloss, but I can promote it for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's on there. You gotta send yeah, right, song. right. Yeah, so just a whole bunch of, you know, stuff that's coming out this this year. There you go. That's mm -hmm. what's up. Don't start selling tummy tea. We good. I think I'll pass that. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really joking. But I can appreciate what you bring to the game. I'm definitely going to lock you down for this bars and cards because I want people to hear you spit. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. she got it. She got it. Thank you. You know what I mean? We can't wait for this single to be blowing up. And I know you're familiar with Birthday Bash. I've heard of it. Uh -huh. you, heard, you have to have heard of it. Of so, course. So we got like some kings of birthday bash, and we got some guys that have been killing it for a few years in a row. Uh -huh. And Migos are part of that crew that uh -huh. have been killing it and setting the, setting the president kind of hot. They right, always right, right. like bring out a couple of people that really shocked the crowd. Like mm -hmm. Last year, Cardi came out, mm -hmm. shut it all the way down. Right. So if you had the chance to mm -hmm. get on that birthday bash stage, uh -huh. who might you bring out with you? 
Who would I bring out with me? Well, besides the obvious. Um, <laughs> who would I bring out with me? I don't know. Who would, who would you see me bringing out? <laughs> mm, that is a great question that I can't answer. How's she going to throw it back to me? Because I need help. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be dope if Lil John came out with oh, you, though. Oh, for sure, for sure. That'll be, that'll be fly. There we go. So mm-hmm. We're going to make some calls. We're going to try to get Sweetie Lil John a birthday bash. Why not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. Well, I appreciate you once again. Thank you. I know y'all busy, super busy. Thank you. And, man, it, it's been a pleasure meeting you and talking to you. No, thank you for having me. There it is. It's Hot 107.9. We gone.